Hey, so I yes, ma'am. The, I'm yes, ma'am. The shit out of them. From police to neighbors. Yep. Everybody in between. <laughs> yes, sir. It really does get you far in life. Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> I, I love it. Okay, so we got music on the deck, but we have beer and ice cream pairing this weekend, and we can get tickets. How do we get them? Directly from uh, DenverBeerCo.com. Slash events. Come on, you're gonna give me the whole fucking thing. Pre-sale tickets are thirty bucks. Yum yums, ice cream, beer, and ice cream pairings. Y'all, I sold the shit out of that for you. The sign is right yeah. behind him. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, "Shit, this guy knows like, this." Yeah. 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 I, I didn't know How do you like, remember like, that? Blacked out there because I saw you like in a deep stare. Off. It was like Frank the Tank from old school, where he just like buries <laughs> James Carville. I just did a perfect ad read for you. Um, you're free. Welcome. Yeah, that's free. Uh, the cost of win. how many chicken wings I ate. Um, all right, so we have a couple questions for y'all. Ice cream themed, seeing as we've navigated from beer through the, the chain of events. I want a power ranking of your three favorite ice cream toppings in honor of our buddy Peyton. And I want to know flavors, your top three flavors growing up. Not oh. the ones that you have now. The ones that you used to hit, like Bluebell style growing up. Before, the ones that you before still Before niche hit. Yeah. You know, like before these like cool flavors came about, we all played with 12. And everybody, you know, our Baskin Robbins had what, 23? 32? 31. 31. Fuck. I got to stop smoking pot. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I was thinking, I don't, I don't know, Michael Jordan, I guess. I didn't like Baskin Robbins. All right, so Chris isn't going to talk anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, were you a Cold Stone guy? Did your family have money? No, I, I didn't. I never really went to Cold Stones. We were like, we like Dairy Queen. Oh, uh, we, yeah. we didn't have the DQs where I was. Dude, like a chocolate dip cone. We only had them in the roller rink. Inside the roller rink. Like, it was the place you could get something. I could see you jamming some roller skates. We, I was an inline back. skater with Jinkos. I was a piece of shit, John. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to really, aw- uh, not awful, but interesting music. Tool, corn, things of that nature. Tried to grind and listen to some angry music. You know, I don't know. I was probably a shithead of a child. <laughs> I, was. I was. All right, so kick it off, Hal, with All the right. flavors. Flavors or toppings first. Uh, yeah, let's go toppings. toppings. Yeah, this I is mean, top three toppings. I have to go with the like the legit rainbow sprinkles. They have Solid. no flavor, but when yeah. I was a kid, it didn't matter. Like it was cool. It was rainbow sprinkles and a cherry, so I got to add that cherry. And then no, oh wait, you're going cherry as your second option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I thought you were saying like adding that in with the sprinkles. Oh no, like, no, that no, no, count. no. That's that's the, that's number two. Okay. What's and the third? And then I guess third, I'm gonna have to go with like Reese's Pieces. Okay. So like yeah. once that like once the big names got into the town, they're yeah. like, oh, we're mixing candy into it. That's when I was like, oh shit. Winning. This isn't your average run of the mill small yeah. town bubblegum ice cream anymore. That's, right, a, that's solid a pretty play. solid power rank. And I think it's not necessarily cliche, but it's very, if you think about it, it's very movie ish. Like it has a sprinkle yeah, yeah. on top. I, I like it. I like that a lot. And it'd be a good blizzard, too, for the Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. You ready for this? Yeah, man. I, I, you're going to think, you, you're gonna you gonna think, gonna you're going to think I'm a basic B, man. You're going to think <laughs> I'm a basic B. I am a naturalist. I'm just telling you. Hot fudge, chopped peanuts, oh, cherry. Oh no, you are. Oh wow, that's much. So I you're a Sunday going. kind of guy. Yeah, yeah man. Perp, I, yeah. I didn't think that at all. I didn't know where you were going with that. Mm-hmm. That is kind of interesting, though. I didn't see you as that. But I mean, like, if you if you grew up on Sundays, you love that hot fudge. I love oh, yeah. gummy bears on top of mine. I see, they always get frozen know, and then, like love, break your teeth and I shit. I love a frozen like gummy <laughs> snack. They're so goddamn good. You let them soften up in your mouth, and then you just, they get to hang out in there. Oh. I was a big yeah. called Jolly candy. Ranchers, bro. No, I don't want the hard candy. I like them when it's gummy. Don't make me cry, guys. I'm having fun. All right, so y'all did really well on toppings. We have a couple questions that I'm going to ask you just fuck, Mary kill. And I'm going to give one of y'all beer, and we'll do fuck, Mary kill for, should we do beer for Scott as well? Go for it. All right. We're going to do Fuck, Mary Kill for Hal first. All right. You've, you've worked in the beer industry for a little while, and Kurowski's going to judge you. IPAs, Pilsners, Lagers. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna marry a pilsner. Yeah, right? just yeah. a classic, yeah. good old run the mill can meet mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think what? I'm I think I'm gonna have to fuck an IPA. Um, just because at the end of the day, there's so many of them, you get like lots of different angles. See, so. I've heard very contrarian thoughts on that. Like they need to get back to the roots and less of the craziness. Do you agree or disagree to that concept? You know, I'm going to have to disagree. I mean, as a whole, I get it. I understand getting back to the roots, and you could call it Sierra Nevada, right? The pale ale and, like, the OGs back there. But um, I still think it, it's if you like it, it's good. So who am I to judge? So keep, keep throwing it out there. Like, I'm not going to drink some crazy, insane IPAs, but I do like a good hazy. I do like a good West Coast. I like a, a great mix. I'm cool with it. Yeah. And so I guess then I got to, what was it? Kill the lager or Pilsner. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Pilsner, I'm marrying. Yeah. yeah. yeah so log. I got to kill the lager, uh-huh. but I didn't really want to do that. Well, I'm sorry I mean, to hear that. Can't, you know. Hey, Scott, you're, here's your fuck, Mary kill. I got I'm trying one. to get out of that. No, you're not out. <laughs> Yours isn't going to be beer. Yours is going to be for Southern Barbecue. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a beat. That should be easy. <laughs> Ribs, pulled pork, brisket. Fuck, Mary kill. As a Memphis person, this should be pretty smooth sailing. Well, so you. I'm going to go kill the brisket because yeah. we don't do that shit. Yeah. 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 I love brisket, but – and I'm uh, I'm marrying pulled pork and I'm – I'm fucking them ribs. <laughs> well he done. said that with a very big grin on his face. <laughs> I've been there before. Well, gentlemen, um, I appreciate y'all joining us today. I really do thank you for not only taking the time, but also for introducing us to y'all's, y'all's restaurant. You know, um, the new concept is a fantastic one. You know, everyone knows and loves y'all's beer. It's why y'all were just able to get y'all's 10-year chip just recently. And so... We have a couple questions that we wanted to ask y'all as beer guys here in town. Like, if you're not at work, where's, where do you go get a beer? Who are your, take off your work hats. Like, take off your hats and be a non-Denver beer guy or beer co guy. Where do we get a beer in town? Yeah, that's a great question. I live southwest, right? That's fine. So Everybody, I'm, you're I'm a, a beer guy. brewery guy. Okay. I, I, I dig what they do. Um, super good. That locavore. Love them too. Wait, local? Yeah, they're off of uh, Platte um, and Bowles. Or Platte Canyon and Bowles. Okay, yeah, so, we love giving shout outs yeah. to all of local businesses. So I dig what they especially do. Especially when y'all are like such heavily entrenched in the field, like when y'all respect and enjoy other people's mm-hmm. craft, people want to hear that. Yep. And speaking of which, a former guest of the podcast, Steve Kurowski, he was with Colorado Craft Beer Association last time. He joins us just for a minute just to say hey at the tail end. He hey. waited, he, he waited <laughs> till we got through the hard questions. Right. But I think we've asked him the, the Last Supper question in the past, didn't we? Um, I don't remember that. It was a while from the last podcast. You're gonna have to refresh my memory. That was on what the, That was that was pre-pandemic. Oh was, funk, yeah, it was pre-pandemic. So what, what, re, re, repose the question. So the first question we'll have for y'all tonight will be: If you're not at work, yeah, where's a good place where you appreciate what they're doing with beer? Where's your beer spot? Mm-hmm. Um. Man, I love so many breweries in this city. You can't uh, say no, that. No, but I'm just, te- I'm just teeing this up for a second, right? Like, oh, um, I love all of y'all, but, but Kip's my favorite. Son. I'm gonna, I'll give you, I'll give you um, three places in the Denver metro area: Cannonball Creek and Golden. Um, they do everyday beers at a world class level. That's what I like to say about those guys. Um, Called Arms Brewery over off Tennyson Street. Um, I love that. their approach. Some past Avery dudes that are making some really good beers over there. Um, big fan of that. And then I do like going to the new Odell over on Sloan's Lake. Um, oh, well, their rooftop patio is pretty banging, sick. and their really? beers there are um, on point. Nice. So those are the three places. They, Top of my mind, I will say, here in the Denver metro. And they do they do food over there, don't they? They do. Yeah. Wood-fired pizzas um, is their jam. Okay, so let's just – I want to give an applause to y'all here because 
I've eaten at a couple brewery that turn restaurants, specifically the Oscar Blues that used to or may still be on market. Possibly the worst food I've ever had in my life. And I just want to say y'all knocked my preconceived notions of breweries not being able to make good food out of the water. It's right on. Fantastic food. Now you're telling me Odell, who I don't know any of their beers either, but I'm going to have to go try their food. And I guess I'm a beer guy. I was, I'm I a was, beer guy. I was definitely referring to the rooftop deck and the delicious beer menu. Um, oh, you hadn't had that's what, food? That's well, really no. what I was focusing on. You asked beers, so yeah, I no, gave you the no, beer answer. No, but you told me they had food as well. So, like, our yes. listeners will hunt the beer. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I will gladly hunt food. And that's what led me here today. And yeah. I'm fucking stoked now because... Um, but those other two places are brewery only. They're, yeah. they're beer only spots. And I, Call, Call to Arms oftentimes has a food truck right there, but it's also connected to Mass Chaos, which has pizza and tacos. And I think they kind of have like a love relationship where you can kind of play back and forth. So don't let that discourage you from hitting that one. And I don't know the golden scene, but... Yeah. They'll have, they'll have a food the, truck at Cannonball see? Creek, but you don't know who they are at any given day. Oh, I don't yeah. go there for the food truck. I don't go to anywhere for food trucks typically. I go there because I want to get the beer at the brewery, That's and then if the food the truck's birds. delicious, then maybe I'll eat something out of the food there truck. There we go, and I'm the exact opposite, and that's why we keep Steve around. I like where your head's at. <laughs> you, go, you go to the food truck, and then maybe you'll I'll get a like, beer? Maybe I'll get a beer while I'm here. Huh. Fascinating. Dude, yeah. I will travel the world for Penelope Wong's Yan Wontons. Wontons, <laughs> that was her company that they're immaculate, and mm. she'll have a line. She'll bring a line to a, any brewery in any city. Anyway, they're fantastic family. Uh, she does her mom's secret recipes. I'm so good, but yeah, just for anyone out there listening, I like it. Scott, you ready? Yeah, we go. If you're not at work, I know you. you Happy hour is kind of the GM's day job, but if you had a day <laughs> off, where are you enjoying a nice beer or cocktail or whatever? Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm still new, so I'm still trying to hit a lot of them. Which one have you found that you like so far? Um, I guess our mutual friend. Okay, nice. Um, and Woods Boss. It's kind of um, or two that I've, you know. Where's Woods Boss? Uh, man, I. Oh yeah. It's uh. I forget the I forget the streets. Yeah. 25th and Lamer. Oh, it's right there on that same. Yeah. Wait, are we, are we talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, you're talking about our mutual friend. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I thought you were saying the second location. A second. Yeah, a second. Se- the, our mutual friend, and then there's a place called Woods Boss. Um, oh, it's on the same yeah. block? No. Oh, yeah. No, it's a little bit different area. It's close, but not the same. Just Google it. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> I'll edit that out as well. It's on uh, Carolina by California. Gotcha. James Taylor's song. All right, so those are nice. I like where your head's at. Our mutual friend I know regularly. The other one I'm going to look up and find, and I'll give a report back and I'll and plug it in here. Gentlemen, we have come to the dark. Oh, wait, I have a question. Oh, shoot. So you're a podcaster. When you're not podcasting, what podcast do you guys listen to? Ooh, pardon my take. Take that. The sports one from Barstool Sports. I'm a big murder mystery fan, like especially in like autumn and winter months. They just hit better when the sun's going down earlier. You know what For I'm real. saying? For real. Like when you're yep. walking the dog and it's like 4 o'clock and like rustic vibes, or even if it's like 2 a.m. and you're like chilly, it's a perfect time to throw in a murder mystery podcast. But there's a couple that are out right now. The girlfriends put me on them. Fuck, I'm going to have to pull up my... Uh, Spotify, Chris. I'll let you go ahead. But yeah. I'm gonna give y'all some good ones. I mean, I listen to the Daily. Uh, Smartless now. I love Smartless. Yeah, it's well, fucking that's great. Freaking hysterical. And then, like, I listen to side ones. Uh, I listen to one called Gravy. It's like the Southern Foodways Alliance, which is pretty cool. And then I'll pick up like different random stories. And right now, the Dropout, the one about Elizabeth Holmes and. Uh, Theranos, because oh, she's the, on trial the, right she's now. She's on trial, yeah. Yeah. That's so the there's a whole podcast like, on that. Oh, there's tons of podcasts on it. That's okay, what great. got me hooked on the Nexium case. Was the podcast turn or no, the video turn podcast? That thing's in, it's just riveting stuff. Like I'll go down a rabbit hole, or if you have a four hour drive, I could listen to murder mystery or like yeah. people that try to deceive the government or like. 
Even aliens. I mean, not Joe Rogan, but give me like a good alien story that's not Joe Rogan.